So for the past few months, I've been going on a lot of adventures and I've had my good moments and my bad moments. But overall, I've just learned that gear is really important. So that's why I went ahead and bought a lot of new gear for this season of hiking and backpacking. And in today's video, I just wanted to go over all the stuff that I have for this backpacking year and tell you guys why I bought what I bought. So let's go check it out. up so today i'm doing a gear list video of all of my backpacking and hiking gear um, because this season is coming up i'm going to be doing a lot of trips a lot of backpacking trips hiking trips camping trips all that jazz and so i figured i might as well just show you guys what i'm rocking i've seen everybody starting to do this on youtube so i figured why not like take this opportunity to do it on my uh my own gear so that's what i'm gonna do today i got this giant bag stuffed full of all kinds of junk. So I guess actually I'll start off with the bag. My bag is the Hyperlite Mountain Gear Southwest 3400. It is a 55 liter pack made out of Dyneema. It's practically waterproof. The only thing that I've heard is it seeps, water seeps through the back end where the straps meet the pack. Apparently it's not sealed. Um, that well, but it's practically waterproof, especially if you keep all your stuff inside a dry bag or a pack liner. You shouldn't have any issues with water. So that's why I picked this one. It's really durable. It's like one of the best packs out there. And I'm gonna be carrying camera gear, so I might as well pick something <laughs> that uh, is going to keep all of my gear dry. It's very expensive. I will say that it's very expensive, but um, I, I have to get gear that I trust. So. Now we're gonna work on the stuff outside of the bag. This right here. These are obviously Nike slides. These are just like camp shoes when you get to camp. So I don't have to wear my hiking boots everywhere. If I wanna like swim or something, I can just throw these on. They can get wet, I don't know. I already had them. And so that's what I'm gonna use for the camp shoes. Tent poles, I just keep out here. We'll get to the tent in a little bit. Trowel for taking your deuces in the woods. You definitely need something like that because some places you can't find sticks or rocks or anything. And you're, I mean, some people just lay it down on the ground, but I'm a better person than that. So I'm gonna dig a nice hole and I got a trial for that. So just a cheap one I found on Amazon. Water filtration, uh, I'm using the Sawyer Mini. It's a cheap, really good water filter. It'll screw on to like a smart water bottle. That's basically what I use. It filtered water really well. I've used it once um, on a trip and it worked really well. So spoon, just a long spoon that I got at Academy. Nothing special. It's got like this rubber on the end, which is kind of cool. If you're uh, eating like freeze dried foods and stuff, I would recommend getting a long spoon just because if you have a short spoon, you can't really get in the bag really well. So I got a long spoon. For like fire, wood and stuff, I got this silky saw. I don't know, it's like the smaller one. I think they make a ginormous one too, but I just got this one. It works really well. I already broke the tip on it. That's one thing about these. I've seen other people have the same issue. The tips break on them, but you don't really need that part of the saw for it to work. And it works really, really well. It cuts wood so crazy. So. I packed all this stuff up just for this video. I, I don't know if this is exactly how I'm gonna pack it out, but that's it for everything outside of the bag right now. So I guess we'll work on the stuff in the inside of the bag. So I guess I'll do the tent. I have the Nemo Aurora two-person tent. It is not the lightest tent, but it is way cheaper than what I was gonna get. I was gonna get the Tiger Wall the Big Agnes Tiger Wall two-person tent. But that is, I think right now it's like $400 and this was $250. And this is still a double wall freestanding tent, which is what I wanted. It's four pounds instead of the like two pounds like the Tiger Wall is. So it's pretty heavy, but for the price, I just went for, for this one. I'll probably upgrade tents soon, but jet boil, you know, just a standard jet boil flash stove. I don't know, it's a really good stove. It 
boils water really fast. I'm not trying to go like super ultra light and stuff. So now for like what I keep my camera gear in is this low pro adventura. It's a little camera pouch. It's pretty cool. I think this is the smaller size or it might be the bigger size. I don't know, but I got it at Best Buy and it keeps my stuff. It has a zipper in the front, keeps my stuff nice and uh, organized in my pack. All kinds of goodies in there. Um, I might as well just like show you what I have in there right now. So I have my drone that I take some places. I don't take everywhere because some places don't allow drones, but this is my DJI Mavic Mini. It's a really good drone and it's super small and super light. That's why I have it. So really cool drone. I haven't had any issues with it really. Even like as small as it is, it's pretty good in the wind, which I was surprised about. For a light for my camera, like if I'm hiking at night or something, I have this Loom Cube. I think this is just the normal Loom Cube. This might be the second version. I think it's the Loom Cube 2. I'm not quite sure, but it's pretty cool. I just got it and I've used it once, but it's really freaking bright. One gripe I have about it is the threads on this like uh, shoe mount is really stupid and it doesn't really work that well. I don't know if that's just like a defect this one has, but yeah, that's whack. Plus the buttons, like there's so many settings with this thing and I don't know how to use it. Sometimes I'll turn it off and then like it'll randomly just like start flashing while it's off. And apparently it's something to do with like you're like you're on shutter mode so it flashes with like a camera or whatever but i don't know how to turn that off it's really weird but it's a good it's a good light nd filter it goes in here um but it's on this camera that i'm using right now it's the tiffin like variable nd filter i'll have a link in the description it's a really good nd filter i've had it for like three years and it's never failed me it's a really good nd filter and then also obviously the camera and microphone that i'm using right now i use the eos rp it's a really good camera made by canon it's cheaper than the eos r which is what i was gonna get but i actually like this one better because of the settings and everything and then i just use a rode video micro it's a super small video mic for my camera and it's worked really well never had issues with that that's it for camera gear then i have a bag of goodies right here so i got this anchor power core portable charger. It's a really large portable charger, but I have a bunch of camera gear and stuff. So I want to keep it charged while I'm out there and the sticks. Sunscreen, this is just like Neutrogena uh, sunscreen. Sunscreen is very important while you're out there in the sun. Hand sanitizer, wash your hands after you take a deuce. My bear hanging kit, rock sock thing, pretty cool. I just got this one on Amazon. Um, forget exactly who makes it, but I will put it up on the screen. It's a pretty quality uh, rock sock and bear hanging kit. Do recommend, and it wasn't that expensive. I had this Dr. Broner soap for if you're like washing your hair or your dirty pits out in the sticks and you want to go in the river and wash off. You can use this. Good for the fish. It's not going to kill anything in the water. I have this like flint and steel thing. I got it for Christmas. Somebody gave it to me. It's It works. Nothing special. But if I can't get a fire started, there you go. Because I normally just keep a lighter on me. It's a normal little big lighter. Help start fires. But where I'm at, I can start a fire. And then I have these two things. I have these sog the sog knife and sog multi-tool they're really small this is like the keychain edition or something it came together in a little pack but they're really really good quality and not expensive and they're super light like this is a really really tiny knife and tiny multi-tool it's got all kinds of stuff on it so keep those on me to like cut paracord or whatever i need to do and that's it for the magic bag this is the Oh gosh, this is the Adventure Medical Kit Sportsman 200. I got this at Academy Sports, a ginormous med kit, but it literally has everything to save a life in here. Um, and I take safety very serious because I don't want to be out in the middle of nowhere and me or my brother or whoever else is with me gets hurt and I can't help them. That would suck. So I keep a ginormous med kit on me at all times. Man, I'll throw it up on the screen or do something of all the stuff that's in this bag or you can just look it up yourself the link will be in the description it has i mean just everything in this it has so many things now some people are going to judge me on this one okay but i don't care i keep this ginormous pillow on me this is the thermarest compressible pillow this is the extra large version okay it is is pretty big it 
doesn't pack down super small and it takes up some room in my pack but it's really not that heavy it might weigh half a pound um and dude i love my pillows i can't sleep without a pillow and i hate those little blow up pillows those things suck so this is like a real cloth pillow it's got like foam in it or something i don't really know but when it's all the way out it's as big as like a pillow at home i like that my sleeping pad this is the nemo tensor this is the wide version 25 inches this is like the best pad out there in my opinion uh i like this one because the r value is really good it'll go down to like below freezing temperatures and keep you warm it's really comfortable it's really thick i think it's two inches thick or i might be wrong it might be more than that it's a really thick pad and it's really quiet if you're rolling around you don't hear like the insulation in it crinkling and stuff like a lot of pads plus this one is square a lot of pads have that like mummy shape and i like to spread my legs out so i got this one it's really sick and i do recommend the new tensor now i have this thing, this is a Vumos, Vumos. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I got it on Amazon. It's a bag liner, silk bag liner. If it's really cold, then I can put it in there and it'll keep me a little warmer inside my sleeping bag. Um, and also if it's super hot and I don't want to use my sleeping bag, I can just use this. So that's nice. It's just a little silk bag liner. It's really soft. They got it on Amazon. I don't know exactly how much it was, but it was pretty dang cheap. This is the Kelty Galactic. 30 degree sleeping bag. This is a pretty decent bag. It's 550 filled down, um, so it's not super warm, but I plan on this season just going, I mean, obviously in the summer and stuff, so it's not gonna get too cold where I'm going. Um, so yeah, this is gonna be fine. I got this one because it's actually really cheap compared to a lot of bags. Some bags can get super expensive. This was under $200. And I like it too, because it's a square bag. It's not a mummy bag. And like I said, I like to keep my feet spread out. So this lets me do that. It's not super, super tight down at the toes, like those mummy bags. I don't like those. I was going to get a quilt, but this is just cheaper and easier to use in my opinion than a quilt. So yeah, no complaints. It's really comfortable and it keeps me warm enough. Got this. This is a little headlamp. This is literally, I, it doesn't have any fancy name. It's an Energizer LED headlamp. That is what it is called on Amazon. It's water resistant and it is rechargeable. It takes a USB-C charger to recharge it. It's really good quality. It's pretty dang bright. It's got a red light um, and a strobe. It's adjustable, so that's cool. Yeah, I like it. It works re really well and it wasn't expensive. This thing right here on my pack. This this is the Peak Design camera clip. It comes in clutch. Uh, I forgot about this thing. This thing is sick. It's really good quality. It has this little like mount that attaches to my camera on the bottom of my camera. And I can just slide my camera on there and it'll hang. And I'm not worried about it falling off at all. This thing is like rock solid. It is really quality. A lot of people that have cameras and go hiking and stuff use this. I've only used it once. If I'm going on like a long hike and I don't want to carry around my tripod and my camera, then I will use this and just put my camera on there. I don't got to worry about it. So also for my tripod, I just use a Manfrotto compact tripod. I think that's what it's called. It's pretty all right. It worked really well for the first like six months that I had it. But the more you use it, the more like the dial on the tripod that locks it into place on the ball mount kind of like i guess wears wears down or something and it starts getting really loose so i'm gonna have to change tripods soon but it works really well i mean i don't really have too many complaints other than that but yeah that's what i use it's just a manfrotto compact tripod pretty dang cheap i think 70 bucks at best buy well that is all she wrote that's it guys that's my gear this is basically what i'm going to be bringing on all my trips and stuff so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did leave a like leave a comment leave a subscribe do all that jazz and i'll see you guys in the next adventure peace out and live cosmic oh my knees